DaVinci Resolve 12 contains incredible new creative editorial features, so you can take your projects from rough cut to finish within a single system. The edit page has a full multi-track timeline and viewers for both your source clips and program. On the left is the browser which contains all your bins. Resolve provides you with a master bin for your source footage, but you can create your own custom bins for items such as timelines and source media. To add a custom bin, just right-click and select it from the menu. Then add clips to the custom bins by dragging them from the master. You can also create smart bins using search criteria you set up to make it easy to find shots in large projects. For instance, if you want to create a bin that contains all the shots that have a certain keyword, just set up the search rules. Any clips that match the search rules are previewed in the browser area and appear in the smart bin when you click Create. Best of all, smart bins automatically update when you add or remove shots from Resolve. Double-clicking a clip loads it into the viewer, where you can mark in and out points using the I and O keys. To make a basic edit, you can drag and drop a clip into the timeline, or you can drag clips into the timeline viewer here. Three-point edits are just as easy. To fit a new clip in this gap, we'll use the X key to mark our in and out points in the timeline. Then, we'll load a clip into the viewer, mark an out point to indicate where we want the clip to end, and perform a back time edit using an overwrite. Creating split edits in Resolve 12 is simple and fast. Just right-click on the scrub area of the viewer to mark separate in and out points for audio and video. To place this clip on different audio and video tracks, drag the track targets on the left side of the timeline, and then edit the clip in. Trimming in Resolve 12 is context-sensitive. You can perform different kinds of trims, like ripples, rolls, slips or slides, based on where you click, so that you don't have to keep changing tools. And when you slip or slide, the 4-up display shows you everything you need to see so that you can make confident edit decisions. Rippling a clip moves everything in the timeline as you drag, and turning off Auto Select for a particular track lets you exclude tracks so you can ripple on one track without moving the others. The Roll tool is extremely flexible and works in both Trim Mode and Selection Mode. Simply drag any edit point to start rolling. Hold down the Option key and you can create split edits by rolling the video or audio separately. Trimming in DaVinci Resolve can also be performed using the keyboard. To select the nearest edit point, press the V key. To select the entire clip, press Shift-V. The T key takes you into Trim Mode, where you can trim the edit one frame at a time using the comma and period keys, or in 10 frame increments by also pressing Shift. If you only want to select one side of the edit, press U. Type absolute or relative timecode values for more precise trimming. Dynamic trimming works for every trim operation, and audio plays with a smooth, tape-style slow-motion scrubbing. You can even press Shift-V to select the entire clip. Then hold Command and L or J down together to dynamically slip or slide. If you want to select video only, press Option U. Press it again to select audio only. This also works for editing points, making it easy to select exactly which parts of the clip you want to trim. You can also perform trimming operations on multiple clips at once. Command click different edit points on the same or different tracks to make a selection for asymmetric trimming in different directions at the same time. Or lasso multiple clips and perform slip and slide trimming operations also at the same time. When you're ready to add transitions, Simply right-click any edit point to add a transition and choose its duration from the contextual menu. Double-clicking a dissolve will open up the inspector at the top right of the screen. Here, you can make adjustments to duration, alignment, and other parameters. For more control over the acceleration of your transition, you can open the Curve Editor and customize the Ease In, Ease Out setting. To fade audio or video in or out, pull in the fade handles. The pop-up tooltip shows the duration of the fade. You can set audio levels for the entire clip in the inspector, or keyframe the levels in the timeline. You can also record audio levels in real time by adjusting the mixer as you play. Of course, we found out that Rosebud was really a bicycle. 
Opening the Effects Library allows you to access the toolbox which contains Resolve's complete library of transitions, generators, and titling tools. You can also access third-party OpenFX video plugins, as well as VST or Audio Unit audio plugins. To add any effect from the toolbox, just drag it onto the clips in the timeline. Audio plugins can be added to individual clips or entire tracks. The plugin controls are shown in the inspector or through plugin-specific interfaces. You can bring in additional audio files, video clips, or graphics by dragging them from the Finder or Windows Explorer directly into the timeline. When a video clip or graphic file is selected, the inspector updates to show composite modes for layer blending, transform, cropping, retiming, and scaling parameters. If you want to animate a parameter, simply click the keyframe button, set a value, move the playhead, and repeat. DaVinci Resolve is so fast that everything you animate plays in real time. To adjust the timing of your animation, just open the keyframe track in the timeline and drag them. For even finer control, click the spline icon to open the curve editor, where you can change interpolation and adjust the curve using the handles. When you animate position, you can choose to show a motion path in the timeline viewer. Here you can change the position of the path as well as its smoothness using Bezier handles. To change the speed of the clip, right-click it in the timeline and change clip speed. Enter the amount, set your options, and you're done. Or you can use the retime controls which provide a pop-up where you can add speed points to create different types of speed ramps. The toolbox also has text generators with rich text styling controls the ability to create a background or drop shadow, and transform and compositing controls so you can create great-looking titles and lower thirds quickly and easily. When you finish cutting, each scene can be added to a timeline and displayed as a single collapsed clip, making it easy to create a final assembly of your show. If you need to perform any last-minute adjustments, you can decompose the clips to show the actual timelines. To output your project, you can render for web streaming, broadcast, and digital cinema. Or, Resolve can send your project to Pro Tools along with audio tracks and a flattened video composite for further audio mixing. DaVinci Resolve 12 combines state-of-the-art non-linear editing with the world's most advanced color grading software in a complete system for managing media, editing, grading, finishing, and delivery.